thing streamers do that just makes sense. And this is another reason why I drink less water and more G Fuel, just because it's giving me a lot of natural vitamins. Content creation is harder than your 9 to 5. Twitch streamers on TikTok. A new breed of content creator that is taking the internet by storm. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you're probably not on TikTok that much, which in that case, congratulations. But to fill you in, recently there's been a big wave of, quote, Twitch streamers who have started to make TikToks about their day in the life. And people have been noticing that all the videos are essentially the same, and all of the streamers kind of, kind of look the same. And it's like every day, more and more of these streamers are being pumped out of some sort of Twitch TikTok factory. But the two most notable ones, in my opinion, are Vyoko and Kaya Mintz. Two guys who have really taken this day in the life format and run with it and found a lot of success and a lot of criticism. They're always talking in their videos about how draining content creation is and how tired they are and how hard their work is. And a lot of people are not very happy with them saying this. But I wanted to give my insight on these videos and tell you guys kind of what I think is going on because I think I see it a bit differently than most of these commenters. So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. A day in the life of a small Twitch streamer. First thing I did was my usual morning routine. Put on some jewelry, made a smoothie, and worked on a couple videos for the day. After a while, I decided to go hang out with a friend. We ended up going thrift shopping, picked up some ghost, and stopped by Costco to get some food. My friend also helped me record a room tour video coming soon. When I got home, it was time to stream. Went live for around three hours, averaged 86 viewers, and peaked at 171. And my day was coming to an end, and I was pretty exhausted, so I got in bed and I went to sleep. Alright, so from my understanding, this is kind of the video that started it all. And you could probably see why some people would not take this seriously. I mean, it's just a guy getting up, brushing his teeth, going to get some snacks, and then streaming, and then being extremely exhausted. Which, in the context of what's going on now, it seems like, yeah, okay, that's not really that hard of a day, but I think that at least for this guy's case, that these videos just kind of got off on the wrong foot. People just interpreted them in the wrong way. Because if you watch this video and you don't think about the trend that's going on now, this video does not seem like a guy trying to act like his day is super difficult. It just seems like a guy who streams saying what he does in a day. Who cares if he's tired by the end of the day? Who isn't? There's days where I do nothing, and at the end of the day, I'm still tired. Guess what? That's okay. You're telling me you've never had a relatively normal day and then by the end of the day you're ready to pass out? Is that really that big of a deal? No. I think these videos were interpreted the wrong way from the get-go and that had them kind of transform into something else. Day in the life of a Twitch streamer. First I made my bed and took a shower. Brushed my teeth then made a smoothie. This one was banana with pineapple and some mango juice. Then I started editing some videos but decided to hang out with my friends so I picked them up and went to get some food. Went by Culver's to get a burger and stopped by Wawa to get a drink. Stopped by Walmart and then also the movies where we watched nope and it was a pretty good movie then i hung out at my friend's place and made some more burgers but it was getting late so i went home and decided to take a day off from stream to get some rest so this is another one that got a lot of negative comments and i can sort of see why a little bit more on this one because honestly this seems like sort of an ideal day for people who have a job just getting to chill with your friends and kind of do whatever you want but then at the end of what is essentially an off day still needing a break from streaming i don't know to me this doesn't really seem like somebody who who's lazy. It just seems like someone who doesn't really like streaming. I think a lot of people get into content creation for money, not actually loving what they do. That's that's a topic for a different video, but that's more what that seems like here to me rather than somebody just not wanting to do stuff. But yeah, I get why people were not the biggest fan of this video. Bro gets tired from anything. I feel like most people forget how much work it takes to consistently create content. When I'm recording a day in the life, I'm not only doing the things shown in the vlog, but also recording the shots for it and editing afterwards, which takes a lot more time than you probably think. Especially when you condense an entire day into a 30 second long video. It's gonna seem like you did nothing, but I don't really care because I don't do that much anyways. Alright, so this one I'm sort of torn on. I'm gonna touch more on this later, but yeah, I do agree that a lot of times people sort of downplay the work that goes into being a content creator. I think the phrase content creator itself has sort of a negative connotation to it. People often don't see it as a job, when in reality, being a content creator creator is just a culmination of a bunch of things that people would call a job on its own, like video editing or voiceover or advertising. You know, stuff like that people would not say is not a job, but you put it together and call yourself a content creator, well now people think you're just lazy. With that being said, however, this video, especially considering what he's talking about, is just not the place to make this argument. Look, I've been making videos and editing videos for a very long time, and these day in the life
videos these guys are making probably take like 30 minutes. I mean, you've got like 10 or 15 iPhone clips you take throughout the day. That's maybe 15 minutes. Then you email them to yourself and edit them together. Maybe 10 minutes there. And then a voiceover. I don't know, 5 to 15 minutes probably. That's like 30 minutes, maybe 45 if you're really feeling fancy. This is why nobody takes content creators seriously because these guys act like 30 minutes is a lot of work compared to a normal job. Things streamers do that just make sense. A lot of the time we're stuck in our rooms making content or streaming. So sometimes I'll order food online saving me a ton of time. Especially when you're streaming, it's harder to find time to eat something. Admittedly, it costs a lot of money, but I try not to do it very often. It's one of those things that can become a really bad habit over time, but sometimes it's just more convenient, especially when you don't feel like cooking. All right, so this is another one that a lot of people didn't really like, and this one I sort of get more because it kind of downplays what it's like having a traditional job and takes benefits that come with streaming and tries to turn them into some sort of negative, like, oh no, you get to pick when you eat and order whenever you want and take a break whenever you want to eat. Yeah, most people don't get to do that. So to turn ordering food into some like consequence of being a streamer is just weird. Things streamers do that just make sense. Ordering out is practically a cheat code. I don't have a lot of free time since once I get busy editing and a good workflow, I don't want to kill it by making food. I got this pizza in under 28 minutes, so it's a pretty good investment of my time. I know editing can be super tedious, so getting some good food in your system will help keep you up as well. So this is the video where I think people started to realize, oh my god, there is a clone factory somewhere out there. Because as I'm sure you can tell, this is the exact same video we just watched, but by a different guy who kinda looks like the guy we just watched. But you know, just another video talking about the ins and outs of food delivery services as a Twitch streamer, the usual. But now we're gonna be moving on to this guy's videos, Kayamins, which I think, honestly, are a bit worse and maybe a bit more uh, poke the berry. Videos unlike Vyoko's that I think were just interpreted wrong. These seem like they are intentionally trying to get a reaction out of people by saying certain things. You'll see what I mean. Day in the life of a small Twitch streamer. Today I started my day by making my bed and then I made myself some blueberry pancakes. Then I turned on my PC and watched a few videos while I ate and then edited a few videos of my own which took a couple hours. Then I chilled out, played some games, and didn't actually stream today as I've been sick for the last couple days, but I've been starting to feel better recently. Then I was pretty tired, so I decided to hop in the shower and go to sleep. Alright, so right off the bat, I feel like you can tell that these are much different videos than the other ones. First off, the guy didn't even bother to wait until nighttime to act like this was actually his entire day. You can see the light outside of his window, and then just stuff like editing TikToks took a few hours, and that he's exhausted from eating pancakes and playing some video games. These are obviously not as genuine as the other ones, and we're gonna talk about that more in a minute. The fuel I need to edit my videos. A well-balanced diet is not only important for content creation, but just for daily life. Eggs might be disgusting in my opinion, but I still power through it to benefit my health. And this is another reason why I drink less water and more G Fuel, just because it's giving me a lot of natural vitamins. Alright, so when I got to this video, at this point in my TikTok adventure, I was starting to think, okay, this is just a joke, right? I mean, come on, lots of natural vitamins from my tacos and my G Fuel? This is just a joke, right? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Tired from what? Content creation is harder than your 9 to 5. You really don't know how much hard work goes into creating multiple videos a day. Being constantly creative with new video ideas, trying to make footage look good, getting new shots, taking many many takes over and over, it can get to be a lot. So yeah, I'm tired. Alright, so this is when everything sort of clicked for me. Now saying that content creation is harder than a 9 to 5 is, uh, is a multifaceted statement. It can be true and it cannot be true. For example, like Darman and Mr. Beast, those guys are running essentially full-on businesses at this point. Managing people and employing people. Those guys are probably working harder than like your average receptionist. I myself, I work about 40 to 50 hours a week when it comes to YouTube, which is about your average 9 to 5, but I wouldn't say it's harder because I love doing this. I'd be doing it if I wasn't getting paid for it. So it doesn't feel like a job, so I would not consider it anywhere near as hard as a traditional 9 to 5. And finally, uh, making 30 second long day in the life videos once a week is definitely not harder than a 9 to 5. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, Kaya. But I don't think that's even relevant for this video because I don't think these guys believe anything they're saying. I mean, 
seriously think about it these videos started off like we said pretty normal pretty innocent just a guy showing off what he does in a day and they got some hate but they also got traction these guys are friends keep that in mind in these videos we've seen them hanging out i'm almost a hundred percent certain that vyoko just started to get a bunch of views and a bunch of attention from the algorithm for making these videos so he told his friend kaya hey man if you want some easy views talk about how tiring it is to stream kaya took it a step further and well now you've got him saying that a nine to five is easier than content creation and it's working people are getting angrier and leaving more comments resulting in more views all of kaya's recent videos have millions of views on tiktok this is just easy publicity for them they know what they're doing they don't actually think that g fuel is a good source of protein and they're not actually getting tired from taking a shower they're just playing the tiktok algorithm so if you're a person who doesn't like this kind of content and you think what these guys are saying is ridiculous stop interacting why would anybody stop saying stuff like this when it's netting in millions of views and free publicity for their twitch stream they won't and that's why so many people are hopping on the trend right now and why it seems like all of these twitch streamers are coming out of nowhere making day in the life videos they're doing it because it's easy views so if you don't like seeing it stop commenting otherwise you're just gonna see more it seems like every few months there's a trend on tiktok that people cannot figure out for the life of them why people are doing it or why it's becoming popular all of a sudden it's because it makes people angry the tiktok algorithm cannot decipher whether a comment is positive or negative or if a share is positive or negative interaction is interaction if you don't like what you're seeing just scroll if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it it's free it won't cost you anything but for now that's all i have for you today bye Subscribe.